a wonderful afternoon to you all. In the last decade, the UAE has made sustainability a national priority, launching ambitious programs and policies to diminish the carbon footprint, to diversify energy sources, and to reduce energy and water consumption. Federal and local governments are also working towards establishing the UAE as a global pioneer in the green economy, driving development and dissemination of green products and technologies. The sustainability objectives set by Dubai Expo 2020 will support and complement existing national initiatives. Its public education programs, the pioneering methods and technologies for green construction and operations, as well as the strong emphasis on innovation, will form the core of our strong legacy. While creating significant environmental benefits, Dubai Expo 2020 will also generate new opportunities for economic and social development through investments in green infrastructure, technologies, and services. In recent years, sustainability has become a key objective of all mega events. It informs architecture and construction, event operations and management, as well as a host of new initiatives that stimulate innovation and generate social impact. With sustainability at the core, Today's mega events are better fit to generate long-term benefits for their host cities and countries, for the nations and citizens that take part in them, as well as for the relevant oversight organizations. With this understanding, sustainability has been given a central consideration in the design and planning of Dubai Expo 2020 project since the very early stages of our bid. Throughout its life cycle, the Expo project will be a catalyst for new initiatives and investments in sustainability. It will help advance the UAE's objectives towards the green economy, while also harnessing the reach and breadth of the Expo to promote innovation and awareness beyond our shores. The theme, Connecting Minds Creating the Future, includes the sub-themes of sustainability, mobility, and opportunity. It highlights the interdependencies between these three pillars of global development and calls for partnerships that promote innovation and transfer of know-how to ensure better management and access to energy and water. As we wrap up our plans to prepare for 2020, a whole set of new opportunities of economic, social and cultural development will take place. And naturally, women will play a central role in this journey. After all, we are a nation that has a central maternal figure, Her Highness Sheikha Fatma bin Tabara, largely responsible for much of the advancement in women's roles, as well as measures in environmental accountability and respect. Her steadfast commitment to the advancement and inclusion of women in politics, in education, and business has set the path for many to follow. It is not a surprise that women are natural sustainability champions. Historically, we represent the backbone of our families and social structure, not only here in the UAE, but in the region and abroad. We continue to play an important role in preserving and fostering our heritage, our culture, and nurturing the next generation. It was just a few years ago when the UNDP status report on the Millennium Development Goals recognized the positive outcome of the UAE's target-oriented policies in a number of areas, including women's empowerment. Likewise, the WEF report of 2014 also disclosed that the UAE continues to perform well in the education and health sector with near-perfect equality across gender, both of which are vital to our gender equality efforts. Today, the women of the UAE many of whom are here today, serve as outstanding role models. I am inspired and I am humbled by their contributions. On the notification that the UAE was ranked number one in the world for treating women with respect in 2014 by the Global Social Progress Index, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, offered that, quote, UAE respect women for their sacrifice and their dedication as partners in the building of our nation. 
In many sectors, women have been able to contribute more than men because the UE society gives women a supportive environment to achieve their full potential. Their contributions have outweighed those of men in many sectors, and this reflects the supportive environment that the UE has always provided women." Unquote. Accordingly, it is my privilege to be here today at the launch of the first annual Women's International Leadership Lounge, discussing women and sustainability in the presence of those who share a commitment to the prosperity of our world and the protection of our environment for the next generation. Those who recognize the contributions of women in identifying sustainability challenges, the advancing of sustainability solutions, setting a positive course for a sustainable future, and serving as examples for the next generation of leaders. As you engage today and share and discuss how, as women, public and private sector leaders, role models, future leaders and educators, we can boost the contributions of women in the workplace and in particular, sustainability. We also look to you to be champions for the next generation of young women and young men looking to make a difference. Before I conclude my remarks, I want to share some thoughts on how we can engage our youth in our sustainability and gender equality journey. For the next generation of leaders, the world's fastest growing group and also the most underrepresented group in public sector policy making and most unemployed, their role in the success of any sustainability plans cannot be ignored. We must pay attention to youth employment, youth development, and make sure the availability of opportunities in the future is clear to them because they have an enormous interest in the environment and sustainability issues and this interest must be harnessed and encouraged. As I close, I look forward to a time, hopefully in my lifetime, when special sessions to address gender equality and other sustainability issues aren't necessary, that this dialogue is a regular party of our daily discussions. Until then, I urge you to explore every possibility and more importantly, work to identify achievable and viable solutions that protect and maintain our people, our community, economy and environment as we evolve, transform and pursue prosperity. Thank you so much for your time and for your